Mark, was it a case of same old story again today? Better team, create a lot of chances? Um, a little bit, yeah. But I think the keeper was outstanding. Money. You know, everybody who's come this ground today has seen a great display from goalkeeping. Um, and sometimes they have them. You know, it was his debut. We knew he was decent. We didn't think he was that good. You know, and he's made worldy saves, three or four worldy saves. And sometimes it's it's not meant to be. I think it was it necessarily got to be a bit more ruthless. But I think that the finishes were good. I just think it was great saves. It's frustrating to come up with, uh, you know, against keeping that sort of form in the situation that you're in, because of course you've been on this run where you've been struggling to convert yeah, yeah, chances. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And I think we've got to just keep believing it, James. We've got to, you know, we second first half I thought it was a bit of a non-event. I think we didn't oppose ourselves. They got a little bit more control of the game, but nothing really both ends. And I thought we need to make a change, and the change made a difference. I think there was only one team in it. Second half that was pushing and pushing. Obviously. We've, give a really poor goal away and you know, how many times has Sean Williams kicked the floor never again probably this season and, and that's probably the way it's going for us in our own end again I don't think Tony's made a save in the whole game but you know we've just got to keep going you know we've just got to keep going we've got good players we've got good forwards and you know we've just got to keep going and hopefully our our luck will turn up a bit. Were you disappointed with the goal obviously not just the kick in the floor but obviously from it going from there all the way through to the eventually Yeah I think obviously he's it kicked the floor, come back to him, he, he's cleared it again if you like and then they counted on us and we, we didn't react well enough to it and it's, it's a good strike across the goal, I think Mitch has cleared it off the line but I just think we, if it's a good ball in the box, they're defending that and then it's a little bit different but it's football isn't them thing, then that things make a big difference and they're making a big difference as well. Did you feel that, did you feel that um, bringing Josh Amos on at half time Liven the game up a bit because, like I said, the first half was a bit of a stalemate, bit of but it, it just at least give you a bit of a target presence. Yeah. As it was struggling to hold the ball up in the first half, yeah, I just felt the ball kept coming back too much, um, and I thought that Isaac in the channel um, would get opportunities between the centre half and the right backs, and, and that proved to be the case. But we couldn't get hold of the ball first half, and Josh goes it for us, and we got a bit of a platform, and, and Isaac got loads of chances in that, that area we spoke about at half time. So. Possibly it was the right it was the right decision, but obviously yeah. didn't execute what we wanted it to be. Because in the first half, when Isaac found them spaces in the wide, it looked dangerous. Was that part yeah. of the reason you? Yeah, um, we've got to stick with him. He, he's been playing up front. It's not his natural position. But he's done a really good job for us. We've got obviously we've had our first two two, two choice number nines out all season. You know, Josh is just coming back now, and what we eleven games in, and Jordan, we don't know when he'll be back. So he's done great for us. He's opened up spaces. He's created space for us, and we just. You know, relying on him to score, but you just keep, you keep falling to him. I just said to him, and there, just keep going, you're hitting the target. You know, you're making keepers make great, brilliant, brilliant saves. So I'm sure, unless a keeper, he scores two or three today. Was it a case of you, you Josh didn't have the night in him or the start in him? Was that? Would you, we've got to be careful, he's been really ill and um, lost a lot of weight um, and, and an illness like that. Coupled with his injury that he took, he took out over the summer, it's obviously going to was going to be a slow start for him. But he's he's training really, he's start training really well. Seeing up turning him, he's, he's looking fitter, he's looking sharper. So that, that if you're thrown in too early and he gets injured, then we're in a, in a, in a difficult spot. But it's up to us to manage him, manage his minutes, and get and get him ready for the upcoming games. Did Andy White take an arc or was that? Yeah, he's got he's got a muscle injury, so we'll have to see how that is. And, and Sean Williams, there was a bit of concern from him in the first half. Did he play through something? I think he was just sick. Right. L looking ahead now to, to I suppose, Bamber Bridge on, on Tuesday night. I suppose it's just the same message as, as again, you just need to find that, that win. Yeah, I think so. I think second half, obviously, we've got to take the positives from it. Obviously, you don't like getting beat, and we've, we've, got, to be, we've got to be better. We've got to keep clean sheets. If we keep clean sheets today, we draw, we come away going, wow, we're not won that. So that's the thing we've got to focus on. We've got to keep a clean sheet. And it, it, it's that, the irony is we're defending really well, but we're giving the goal away every week with it, some sort of error somewhere along the lines. We don't seem to get that at the other end, but it's football. Hopefully, you know, that'll, that'll, that'll change. Yeah, because I mean, you, you're not kept clean sheets since the first two games, and then now you've gone two games without scoring for the first time. Mm -hmm. So. It must be frustrating for when you can see the good things that are happening, but you just can't get it all to stick together. That's exactly it. Yeah, you know, it's the only bit of a sticky spell now, obviously losing two on the bounce with the FA Cup is not nice. So it's got to dust ourselves down. We've got to go back, keep believing in what we're doing, and hope that you know these chances start going in.